So, Johnny, thank you, first of all, for um, speaking to me today. First of all, what service were you, what rank were you, and, um, and how long were you in? So I was in the army. I was in for 14 years, but I ended up, uh, yeah, I fought in Afghanistan a number of times. So when you were serving, were you aware of feelings of loneliness and separation, separation and isolation? Or did you, were you one of those people that never really allowed yourself to go into one of those places? So the first couple of times you do it, I think there's kind of a novelty to it, a novelty about being away at Christmas, you know what I mean? But once you're on your third or your fourth one, um, do you know what? It gets really, really tough. I remember, you know, coming back from one of my tours in Afghan in 2010, my, my daughter li literally like didn't really know who I was anymore. Um, and, you know, and that, that's uh, pretty extraordinary stuff. Um, and people are doing it day in, day out year in, year out um, in our military uh, and their family's commitment, which is something that Safa do so well. I mean, uh, I think it's, it's certainly not underappreciated by people like me, but I have a job of work to get out there and get people to understand what a commitment these people are making to this nation. So for example, on your last tour, when you were lonely, where did you go to, to either access help who did you go to? Was it a person out there? Was it an individual back at home? Or was it somebody like Safa, an organisation? Where did you seek that help from? So I would always uh, advise people to talk about it with, with their mates, right? Because there'll be people like me who people look at and think, and it happens now, like I'm a minister now and people think that everything's squared away and everything's fine and all the rest of it. Um, the reality is very different. Right. We're all individuals and we all are human and we'll have the same emotions as anybody else. And actually, if you sit down with someone and you say, mate, it's Christmas Eve and my God, I really miss my kids tonight. Someone is someone is more likely than not to say to you, do you know what? I know exactly. I'm in that space as well. I don't talk about it, but I'm really in that space. And you can, you know, you can open up about it. You can have a conversation about it. And it feels when you're not alone, it's the, it's, it's, it's the feeling that you're on your own that is really difficult. If you share that and you don't feel you're on your own, it's a, it's a, it makes a huge difference. So my advice would just be don't be frightened to talk about it. Um, it is normal. Um, it is normal to miss friends and family. It is normal to feel separated from home. Um, and I would encourage you, you know, anybody to speak about it. And if you're in the UK and, you know, you can access people like Safa, fantastic. Frankly, I mean, Safa have done some amazing stuff over the years, sending stuff out to theatre, right? And making, you know, facilitating presence and so on coming out. You know, that's a big part of it. But another big part of it is looking after the family at home and making sure that uh, everything's squared away at home and Safa plays such an important role in that.